Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome to week number three, day number 13 of Commercial Diving School. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe, like if you enjoyed, and leave any comments or questions down below. Now I got a lot to cover in this video. Um, I'm gonna be talking about um, finishing up physics and our pretests for physics um, and filling out our logbooks. And I'm gonna show you guys what the logbook looks like. Um, and then I'll be talking about um, resume for commercial diving school. Um, and then I'll also be talking about how we started going into physiology and anatomy today. So um, first off, we got breakfast, uh, had eggs and corned beef hash. And then um, straight after breakfast, um, we did the morning muster at 8 a.m. and then we went into the classroom and we took a physics pretest um, because uh, yesterday, Tuesday, and the day before Monday, we've just been doing physics um, nonstop. We've been getting handed packets and you just go through all the problems, answering all the questions just to kind of practice um, so you do get all that practice before you jump into the pretest, um, and then so for the pretest, I did really well. I actually aced it, um, so I was really happy about that um, because we have been working on so many problems so much that um, it was um, kind of easy to go through it. Um, but after we did the pretest, um, we. Uh, went over some questions that some people missed just to kind of uh, you know work it out together to as a way of just you know more practice and say like hey you know if you encounter this on the actual test you know now you know what to do and now you know what you did wrong so I thought that was awesome and then um, we filled out our log books so I'll show you guys what the log books look like it looked like this so it's official um, Diver Certification Board of Canada, DC, uh, BC. Um, and this that's Diver Certification Board of Canada. Those guys are like official. They're like, they would, they, they're what you get like the certification for diving and all that stuff through them. Um, they're a huge organization. Um, so it's a big deal. Um, so you got this hardcover book I've already heard one story about these logbooks from a commercial diver who's an instructor who was diving for you know 15 plus years, and he said that at his one of his companies he broke out as a diver from a, being a tender um, because when you go offshore you tend for about you know a couple of years until you actually can prove that you know what you're gonna be. Like you, you can prove to them that they can trust you if they, you know, put you on a job as a diver in the water. So he already did that. And then he left that company. And when he went to a different company, he lost his logbook and he had to re-prove to that company that he knew what he was doing as a diver. Now it didn't take him long, um, a few months, but Think about if he already had his logbook with, with him, opened it up and showed them um, that he already had all these, you know, dives logged in his logbook and people, you know, supervisors signed off on them saying that he did them. He would have been being paid as a diver for all of those months. So he lost that pay. He can never go back in time and make all that money back. So logbooks are super important and so if you're thinking about getting into diving you're definitely going to be filling these out and guarding these with your life so i just wanted to show you guys this because that was one of the things that we get issued to us and i wasn't able to show that in the dive gear issue video because i didn't have it um, because it was it needs to get signed after you do the dive and fill it out. A supervisor or instructor has to sign off um, as like a supervisor or witness or whatever. So, um, so after we filled out our log books, we went to lunch. Um, and then for today, it was pork chops. 
um, scalloped potatoes and mixed vegetables and corn and they gave you like a little um, bun for bread as well um, so um, I discovered in the computer lab uh, that um, they actually have um, a resume print out for you um, and I printed one off and here it is right here and this is really cool because they actually like um, have a template for everybody um, I heard it from one of the upperclassmen that they have this and basically what it is is you're gonna need a resume to get hired at a dive company right well CDA gives you tons of certifications when you graduate and so what they do with this template is you just print this off and you fill out your information on here and um, if you guys can see there's all the certifications right there and then it lists um, qualifications down here so um, there's just so many of them that if you were if you had to fill this out yourself and like give it to a dive company yourself you know you'd have to go through each one like oh man what what certification did I get uh, okay well it's already all done for you so I thought that was pretty cool to show you guys um, that the school kind of provides that for you um, and you don't really have to do much just fill in like your name and where you live and um, that kind of thing and it's already in a template for you so I thought I'd show you guys that um, so after lunch um, we started getting into anatomy and physiology um, we're actually gonna take our physics tests tomorrow so we're not 100% done with physics yet but we're done we were done learning about it and we weren't taking the test till tomorrow so um, we had all that time after lunch till the end of the day to go over and start our physiology portion of our training. Um, so basically today we started on anatomy and um, actually learned a lot. Um, they actually, I know in CDA, they go over like basically the whole body. So anything from like all your bones to all your muscles to all your you know sinus cavities your brain your blood your um, you know arteries veins lungs um, the different systems like the nervous system um, musculoskeletal system circulatory system like all your systems um, and I always like to pick out um, a couple of things um, to share with you guys like what what did I think was most um, helpful or what did I learn um, and that's um, uh, with blood pressure uh, you know how it's you know a number over a certain number and it's like normal blood pressures you know 120 over 80 or whatever and it's like what does that mean well um, the f there's actually two measurements they're taking um, the first measurement they're taking is systolic blood pressure and that's basically when your heart is actually beating like when it beats it pushes blood and that pressure is systolic that's the first number on top so that's the 120 over 180 in on a normal blood pressure and then the number below that is your diastolic and that is the pressure when your heart but basically that's the pressure between beats so when your heart beats and then it's pausing for a second before it beats again that pressure is the bottom pressure so that's the 80 in the 100 over 80 um, ratio so they're actually taking both of those measurements um, I always thought it was a ratio like you know 120 over 80 and then they're going to divide those numbers and then somehow they're but it's not they're taking basically two measurements that give them um, two ways to accurately determine what's going on with your blood pressure 
Um, so I thought that was cool. I wanted to share at least something from what I learned today with you guys. Um, but we're going to actually go over um, more of the physiology tomorrow. And a lot of what we cover with anatomy and physiology, a lot of it we're learning like diving, diving specific things. Um, and the reason why we go over diving specific things like that pertains to anatomy is, you know, in case you, you know, get the bends, um, which hopefully you don't, which is decompression sickness. If you don't know what that is, look it up. Um, the internet could probably do a lot better with teaching you what de decompression sickness is than I could. So, but um, basically, um, if you get the bends, um, you want to be able to tell, you know, a doctor about like what you're feeling and where it is. And the more you as a diver know what's going on with your body and, you know, uh, physically, the, the better you can explain it to a doctor. And then with in terms of uh, physiology, there's a lot that you go over um, when it comes to um, like diving related sicknesses. Um, like the bends or uh, what was another one there's a lot more than that that you could get um, but anyway um, yeah like I said tomorrow we're gonna take the physics test and then we're gonna go over more physiology stuff and we're getting in the water on Friday so um, we're gonna be diving in the river we're gonna get some more bottom time some more experience in the gear and the hat and actually diving so stay tuned for that you guys don't want to miss that because i might be filming i'll definitely post it if i do um so yeah stay tuned um, thank you guys for watching um subscribe if you haven't already um, like if you enjoyed and stay tuned for the next video peace